Hello! In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to click from page to page of results when there is no Next button on the page. To begin, click on the New Project button and enter the URL of the website you would like to scrape. For this example, I will be setting up a project that scrapes a page from the Toys R Us Canada website. Once you've entered your URL, click on Start Project on this URL. Once the page loads, you will see three areas within the Parsub client. The left side contains the project structure and settings, the middle contains an interactive view of the website, and the bottom section allows you to preview your data in either CSV or JSON formats. An empty select command is placed in your project layout for you. If this is not the case, click on the plus sign next to select page and choose the select command. Using the select command, click on the title of the first product to select it. You can see that Parsub is selecting the product name in green. To select the rest of the product names, keep clicking on product names until all of them are selected. You can rename this command by clicking on its name. I will rename it to product. If we want to pick up the price for each product, we can do this using the relative select command. Click on the plus sign next to select product and choose the relative select command. Click on one of the orange highlights around a product name and then use the arrow that appears to select the product's corresponding price. Rename the relative select command to price. We are now going to add pagination to our project. Click on the plus sign next to select page and add a select command. Use the select command to select the currently active page, which is page one. Rename this command to current page. Now, click on the plus sign next to select current page and add a relative select command. Click on the orange highlight around the button for page 1, then use the arrow to select page 2, the next page in the sequence. Rename this command to next page. Click on the plus sign next to relative next page and add a click command to your project. When asked if this is a next page button, Choose Yes and click on the button that says Repeat Current Template. Adding the click command takes us to page 2 automatically. Now that we're here, we want to check that our pagination commands are working properly. To do this, click on the Select and Relative Select commands and take a look at what they are selecting. As you can see, select current page is selecting the correct element here, but relative next page is not. To fix this, all we need to do is click on the command to activate it, click on the orange highlight around the current page, and then click on the button for the next page. To make sure this worked, switch to browse mode. Browse mode allows you to click through the website as if you're in a regular web browser. Click on the button for page 3 and check to see if the commands are working properly again. It looks like the command is now working properly. To test run this project and make sure that it is working properly, we can click on Get Data at the bottom of the page and then click on Test Run. Test runs allow you to run the project locally on your own computer to help you understand how it's behaving. The Step In button will run through your project one step at a time. The Play button will slowly run through your project, allowing you to see what the project is doing. The Fast Forward button allows you to quickly play through your project and see the extracted data. While playing or fast forwarding, you can also pause your test run here. 
If you hit the stop button, the test run will close and you will be returned to the project page. To retrieve your data, click on the Get Data button and then on Run. Your project will begin running on our servers and you can check the status of the run in the box here. When the project has finished running, you can download your results in either CSV or JSON formats. We also have an API that you can use to integrate your data with other applications. In this tutorial, I've shown you how to set up pagination on a page that doesn't have a Next Page button. If you have any questions about your particular project, you can contact us at hello at parsub.com. We're always happy to help.